Neil McCline, the former two-time world title challenger. He's now 30. Pounds, but he's carrying that weight better, he feels, as part of the master plan to be faster and more athletic. The other part of the formula is to stay busy, and if you look at his last five fights, you'll see that he's done just that since his upset loss at the hands of Zuri Lawrence. Jamil beat Rob Calloway on Wednesday night fights, already his fifth fight of the year. He feels like he'll be There isn't necessarily one guy I would target or would not target. Um, as you know, I've never turned down a fight. I am one of the best fighters in the division now, uh, and I'm proving that uh, not only tonight, but in the past eight months. Uh, this, is, this is already my sixth fight in eight months. It'll be, it'll be my sixth win in eight months, and uh, I'm back. I'm back. He will be facing 34-year-old Terry the Troublemaker Smith, and he's been troubled for 28 opponents in his five-year career. He was a speed bump for top 10 ranked Calvin Brock two years ago. Close decision. That's Terry's only loss. Four inches shorter, 45 pounds lighter than McLean. And there are his last five. A few times. Smith would rally late and come up with the... Confident about it. At first, I was worried about his size difference and everything like that and how he... It, it's, it's me and him. And right now, I'm more determined, I'm more willing, and I want this fight. And so, at the end of the night, hey, Terry Smith's going to be uh, victorious. Scheduled 10-rounder. Gary Ritter, the referee. Okay, gentlemen, this is for the NABO Heavyweight Championship. I expect you to conduct yourself as champions. You received your instructions earlier. I want a good, clean fight. Protect yourself. Let's have a good fight. The ring experience. Both of these gentlemen got a late start to boxing. McCline only had one amateur fight. Jamil has fought the higher level of competition. Of course, he fought for heavyweight titles, lost to Klitschko and Bird. Drop Bird in that fight, almost pulled off a title clinching win, but there was a point differential. So we are underway. Ten rounds, McCline and Smith. Smith says if you stay on McCline, don't give in. He starts to mentally cave in. So that's as good. is going to approach this fight. Look for him to put pressure on the taller McCline. Terry Smith has spent on the camp with Tony in preparation for this fight. He had his own training camp. He went up to Massachusetts. He worked with manager and trainer Mark Vaz, and he worked out at the Petronelli Gym in Brockton. He said it was inspiring to be there in the home of Hagler. Well, confidence. Get it. You'd think with his size advantage of bulk. Inside or outside, but with his temperament, Joe, expect him on the Stop, stop, stop. Break. Step McLean back. is a step careful back. guy. He doesn't on. fight like you you would expect. Way to fight. He fights more like a lightweight. On the outside, out, uses legs. Out, stop, He's got stop, quick hands. Right, likes to start step anything back, or everything. Box. Technically, the correct sound way with that. Magazine stays in form, active in the ring, active in training. The jab works well. Well, if Smith doesn't work on getting in. McLean can win this fight. Just on the outside, doing that, using it. The... Tries to force his way in and tries to make up. Four inch height differential. McLean, six foot six, 270 pounds. The man who has to take the risk tonight is Smith. He's a shorter man. He has to get closer to McLean to do damage. McLean can stay on the outside, use the jabs, and catch Smith as he comes in. Stop, stop, 
short stop, stop, right stop. hand on the inside. Stop, break, step back. So step McCline back. scores there as Box. Smith did exactly what you said. He did come forward and get on the inside, but he received a right hand when he was in in that real estate. Two offensive stop, stop, opportunities stop, stop, stop. for big time McCline. One is on the outside with the jab and that quick jab. The shorter man tries to get in. And if he makes some mistakes and he reaches just a little bit, like he did right there, look for McCline to counter. Look at this to close out this first round. Good action among the heavy. When something is real. Introducing me just for men. It's for a natural look that is real. Touch. Real wear it counts. New true color just for men. Bust the blandness with fiery buffalo boneless wings at KFC. Get 100% breast meat boneless wings dipped in our fiery buffalo sauce. Try six for $2.99 or 18 for $8.79. Also available in honey barbecue flavor. Scotch glue painter's tape. Goes on easy, comes off clean. Scotch blue painter's tape. When you're the taller, bigger man like McCline, you can stand on the outside and you can counter your opponent as he did right there with Smith with the left hook as Smith tries to force his way. Also had a short right hand and getting back to work, doubling up the jab early on. McCline in the black with silver. But where he's not always bigger is in confidence, and that's why sometimes he stays on the outside and boxes. You have to give McCline credit, though. He didn't have a wealth of a place to gain that forearm of big Jamil McCline. Tries the short right hand on. Right, but can be a good, tough fight. And tough night for Smith. But when he chooses on the outside, he's longer, he's taller, and he's quicker. He can win on the outside with his jab, and then when Smith forces his way in, he can counter. But he also has the size advantage of pure physicality, Joe. McCline, both wise, is the bigger, stronger man. Now, it's of his temperament and his confidence allows him to. If he does that, where does Smith go? Where does Smith? One of the places that he was looking to gain hope, well, it hasn't arrived yet. He wants to get the second half of the fight around and hope that McCline starts fast and fades late. Well, what he better not hope for, and he being Smith, and he better start performing. The one place that he has to have The inside Stop, where McCline will not always use his bulk. His temperament sometimes Stop. will suggest that he ties up and he waits to get out. <laughs> Smith could not win, in my estimation, on the outside. So he must be productive, he must be efficient, and he just must be busy when he's in close. Left hand to the body, then a You can see it in a smile like Rob Machado's. Just look at the man and you know you'll never see anyone so happy to go to work. He's got that inborn style that only happens when true talent is motivated by sincere pleasure. You can see it between... ...soulful lines he carves of the love letters he leaves behind. Live at 9 on ESPN, presented by Saturn. The Saturn View, with an estimated 29 miles per gallon highway. And the Saturn Ion, with a five-star frontal crash safety rating and an estimated 35 miles per gallon highway.
the 2006 Saturn Ion and the 2006 Saturn View. Great times, great timing. Now get 10% off the purchase of any new 2006 Saturn vehicle at the Saturn Summer Sales Event. If Smith is going to turn the fight his way, he needs to be in close. And he needs... feature here on Friday Night Fights. Good left hook Jamil McLean lands the left hook here to open up this third. Here in Tulsa, Oklahoma, Terry Smith, his only career loss was a close call against top 10 contender Calvin Brock. And of course, it was last year on ESPN pay-per-view when Jamil McLean floored Calvin Brock only to have Brock come back and upset him. You know, McLean's He doesn't want to be on the inside. McCline has the great yeah. option of being able to choose. Smith landed a right hand, and then McCline went downstairs. Heavyweight fight for both men's careers. McCline talks about getting back in the mix for a heavyweight title. Terry Smith at 28-1-1. One one. Well, this would be a signature win. Back to the jab for McCline. Again, that advantage will always be there for The outside will serve McCline. Did not get out of coming in. And Smith got to where he wanted to be in that punching zone that a smaller man can be productive. Wow, Terry Smith absorbed two left hands and then just made a decision that he was going to take the waves head on. He did, and for a moment this crowd came to its feet, and they deserve. You know, McClain has been having success with those quick. I wonder when Smith in his corner is going to make an adjustment. Is this, uh... Yeah, this is it. Security and my fee is in there. Kitchen, bath, room for a bed. So you're going to take it? The rabbit's back. The third okay. round, Teddy. Start picking me. Okay. Close. And you see the advantage when there's distance. The advantage with that jab. But undeterred, you see also the attitude you just talked about of Smith walking in and letting those hands go. Both men landed 21 punches in that third round. McCline had success with the left hand. He got. The undefeated power punching Alan Green takes on the veteran. Six foot six, 270 pounds, two time heavyweight title challenger looking to get back in the mix no, 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 in that stop, division. Stop, stop. Well, if you no look wrestling. at the trunks no of McCline, you can stop. see that he's not only a big, quick man. On those trunks, the caption stop, stop. Watch your elbow. Watch your in memory elbow. of the Watch former the CEO of Everlast. this sport and he is sorely missed tie up on the inside see who lets those hands go Gary Ritter's gonna break them Teddy Atlas's scorecard 29 28 McCline four punch combination on the inside see this is where 
I find it very interesting in the turning point of the fight because McClain, we've established it already. And our great fans out there see it already. McClain has to have a great night being so big and being 270 pounds to the 225 pounds of Smith. But it's not always his temperament to be comfortable inside. And the weight is on the shoulders of Smith to not only get inside, but have to be productive. So the inside is the turning point because if Smith does not maximize those spots and McCline Stop. can have moments there, well, we already said McCline's going to be the better man outside. That will make it a very, very difficult. Jodo's speed, the quickness of a 270-pound man. McCline jumps in with that left hook. And four times tonight, he's connected with it. It can be dangerous, though. Smith can decide to time him with a straight right hand. And a straight right hand can beat a left hook. Smith. There's a body shot. A right hand was solid. Smith trying to get those hands free on the inside. Fires off an uppercut. Another uppercut. They've gone at it every hurt, every time they've heard the 10-second tap. They go for it again. Look at McCoy. Carrier. Singular family talk. Add a line for just $9.99. Plus. the bar. If you're looking to ramp up your ride, get ready. Advance Auto Parts has a brand new special order center just for you. Your one-of-a-kind, one-stop shop for everything you could ever want in parts and performance accessories. Everything from lift kits to cool custom accessories is ready for direct-to-your-door delivery or convenient in-store pickup. When you want the most complete selection of parts and accessories, the only place to go is the new special order center in Advance Auto Parts. We're ready in advance. make their bid for it, McClines a little stronger. There he is through four rounds, Jameel Big Time McCline. Remember, Terry Smith said, I think he's got four good rounds of activity in him, and then it's my fight. Let's see if that holds true. For the former title challenger, Jameel McCline. McCline has fought for a world title. McCline, on the whole, has fought the better opposition. In a tough fight. He was TKO'd by Vladimir Klitschko in 2002, lands a left hand there. And then in 2004, he scored a knockdown against Chris Bird, but Bird rallied late. Punch out, fight out, fight out, clinch it. Smith said, if you stay on McCline, you don't give in. He starts to mentally cave in. Here's my question. What if he does this? And you hung your hat on that. What happens then if you depend? Do you wilt a little bit? And that's really the key question in this fight. There was a right hand after the jab from Terry Smith. Will McCline fade? He put forth tremendous effort those first four rounds. Will Smith get discouraged? I put forth that question if McCline does not fade. Either way, you ask it. Fires off a right hand. Again, whoever makes the better choices on the inside, I believe, is going to have his hand raised at the end of this. Side. If McCline can simply stay even with him on the inside, the fight will be McCline's. Blood still coming from the nose of Smith. 
coming up on the final. Making the decision Not now, the choice to be the boss on the inside, both of them. Comes the 10 second clap. Let's see what they do this time. If the energy's still there. 10 seconds, go, fight out. Left hand. Zions presents Hold Nothing Back. Roy Jones Jr. versus Prince Body live on pay per view Saturday, July 9th at 9 p.m. Eastern. Hold Nothing Back. Roy Jones Jr. versus Prince Body presented by Zions. Terry Smith, the five year pro from Arkansas. The ninth of 13 children in his family, a hungry, hungry 34 year old heavyweight here on. In what could be the signature win of his career. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. He's got a real tough challenge taking. Six foot six, 270 pound native New Yorker. The last round, Smith did not do it. Everything that's available and find everything that's available on the inside to beat the taller man. But having said round did not carry that dominance. That area where he has such a significant edge, he did not use his jab well the last round. Teddy's scorecard, 48-47. A good, solid, competitive heavyweight main event. Such an important fight for both men. McQuine, it is an open and opportunistic guy McCline gets inside smother Smith makes him think that there's nothing to worry about then he lets go a little bit and then all of a sudden he flurry can control the outside and he's got the side Klein has given up the outside and decided to take it solely inside that might be a mistake because that's the only place Why don't you use your advantage if you have an advantage on the outside? There you can see that advantage. But then he's up well on the inside. And he did so with a right hand when he had that chance. There's a good left hand by my to 70 pounds but he's got fast hands fast two, heavyweights, two heavyweights giving a strong effort on friday night fight here's to men to guys who want to take longer drives with fewer pit stops to guys who want to spend less time in the men's room and more time fishing and here's to Flomax. It's approved to treat male urinary symptoms due to BPH, also called an enlarged prostate. In one week, Fl Extreme, frequently waking up at night to go. For you, Flomax could make a difference in one week. Ask your doctor if symptoms are from BPH, not prostate cancer. Common side effects of Flomax. So when starting Flomax, avoid situations where injury could result. Could make a difference in one week. 34-year-old Terry Smith said, I'll impose my will. Start of round number seven. Let's look at the punch track, punches thrown throughout the fight. Jamil McCline took a little bit of a dip in the fifth round and came back in the sixth round. 
Smith. As you can see, Smith's output has been a higher total number of punches thrown. McCline will fight in spurts. Stop, break. Stop. And that is why you've had that up and down in those numbers, as you just said very well, Joe. There's Teddy's scorecard, 58-56, McCline taking the sixth round. His career, when people were asking him how he trained, he said, I trained rounds on the table. Well, what he did smart right there, on the inside, he shoe shines. He got off quick with the quicker hands. He And Smith went along with the tie up. He's done that a couple times so far tonight. The shoe shine, a little flurries downstairs. And that's a way of staying ahead of your opponent just a little. And that's testing something that's more than conditioning and more than physical ability. That's testing choices. That's testing stuff inside of you. Final minute of this seventh round. Caught by a left hand as he came in that time. Word. Falls full with a right hand. Does Teddy Smith. And that's the area where he can counter punch, and he hasn't done enough of that in the last couple rounds. Counter punch when the shortest Smith does fall in and does take those chances that leaves himself wide open for McCline. Right there's a nice counter left hook, and there's another good counter left hook. And he went to the body with the left hand also. Now Smith back on the inside. He needs to work there. Has it. You can see it in a smile like Rob Machado's. The lines he carves are the love letters he leaves behind. X Games 12 starts Thursday, August 3rd, live at 9 on ESPN. Presented by MB Zip. rounds to go in what has been a very exciting heavyweight I'm the bigger fighter I'm the faster fighter the question is who will be the hungrier and more round number eight scheduled for ten I talked about McLean being served by having fought the better. Smith is served with having a better and a pretty immense amateur background. 100 amateur fights. Teddy scorecard 68 65 behind the work of McLean in the sixth and seventh round. But Terry Smith has been in each and every one of these rounds. Smith has too often pushed the plate away. Mm -hmm. Look Aaron right there. On the inside, not making a decision to punch. Back out at range where it favors the six foot six McClyne. There was a right hand uppercut when he got to that better real estate. As I said the last round, distance. And to counter Smith as he tries to get in. But a lot of this fight has been fought on the inside, where Smith oh 
The difference is Smith, you just said it well, Joe, needs, has to be on the inside. McKine can choose from in or out. Less pressure in that way. More out. that a man that has to prosper on the inside has to work has to shine on the inside stop, 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 stop. he is not performing that way it's late that that'll be the key to this fight the other side of that is that terry smith has to do something about it well, man, you need to work you need to take them into places, dark places, to make them fade. And that means you have to do some of that. Move your hands. Some guys, a mustache or beard isn't just hair. It's a real part of who they are. Ain't nothing like the real. Introducing new True Color Formula just for men gel. Penetrate. Always look like the real you, her real dad. <laughs> Chappelle Show The Lost Episodes is coming to DVD uncensored. With over an hour of extras, including five unaired sketches and deleted scenes. How can you resist? Chappelle's show, The Lost Episodes, coming to DVD July 25th. Motel6.com is the only place you need to go to find a great room. The best place for the best rates is Motel6.com. We'll leave the light on for you. Go, take it, take it. Mark Vaz giving the final instructions to 34-year-old, 28-win veteran Terry Smith as he enters the ninth round. And what he said to Smith after that eighth round was that Jameel McCline is spent. Just throw combinations. Anything you throw, you will land. But I want to see you work. You believe in arithmetic? Sure. Well, if you add it up, McCline has an edge three to one. Jab on the outside with counters, and if he wants, he can go inside with 270 pounds. There's only one spot. Smith can combination, then a left hand from McCline. The arithmetic of Teddy Atlas's scorecard goes 78-74 for the big McCline, who's turning it on a bit here. Numbers. to turn this around, and that would come from a right hand if I was in the corner of Smith. I would look to maybe get an opportunity where McClellan jumps in and takes a little bit of a liberty by jumping in with a left hook from out in front, a place where you really shouldn't lead with left hooks because there's always a chance. In the corner of Smith, I might adjust my fight Just had a great opportunity for one and didn't pull the trigger as we saw a very deliberate telegraph left hand from McCline. There's a left hand. Again, a lead left hook. off the lead left hook time and time again so you know the ability for the counter right exists and again you see the options of McCline you see the quicker hands of McCline McCline can get things done on the outside again Smith a man who you would think would be desperate just absolutely not making the choice to punch. And you can't be blame McClain when he goes inside and ties up a little bit. He can get away with it because he can win on the outside. Smith can't win on the outside. One round to go. 
What a night here in Tulsa. We're at the Osage Million Dollar Elm Casino, and the locals have come out to see Tulsa's very own 20 and 0. Coming off that controversial decision loss to Jesse Brinkley. Up Terry Smith as he gets ready for this final round. Hey, you need this last round. Hey, this round, touch him up in the ring center. Okay. Okay. Get off with the sound. Keep it down. Huh? Uh -huh. Okay, that's it. That's what I want from you. <laughs> Need something big. Mark Mark that. Outwork him, man. Take him. Applying the final piece of tape, saying outwork him and take him. And maintain yourself. And those folks in the corner, McCline, who have done a good job. Matt Drayton, Matthew Cedrone, and Lou Martinez. And Willie, Willie settles. The crew, the same crew in Terry Smith's corner. That has gotten Jermaine Taylor off the... As said, Smith needs a big 10th round here. Terry and Teddy. But don't go away yet. Because this being an... Good combination. And what Smith needs right now, I think this round, he needs some of that, stop, some energy, stop, back, back. some desire to move. Don't forget an undersized stop, heavyweight back, named Calvin back. Brock hurt Jameel McCline a year ago. So it can happen. Watch McCline. Within the next minute and 33 seconds. By the way, there's one other spot I just remembered. McCline, the tall man, if he does straighten up like that and goes straight back. To find the tall target. Oh, Follow him, step down. with him. Yes. Final minute. Can Jameel McCline hold on? Can Terry Smith? If nothing dramatic happens here, I have McCline winning the fight. And if it stays that way, and it turns out... Smith can blame himself for getting inside and doing that, allowing himself to put his hands behind McCline, not in front of him, and not work. There's that lead left hand again. Oh, nice lead right. There's an old saying, if you're not going to do nothing or anything in front of your man, don't be there. Smith getting caught standing in front of McCline. Again, a left hook of McCline and no right hand from Smith. Neil McCline. Fighters out there had a good showing tonight. Great effort. Friday night fights. This is Duralak. Built with heavy-duty components to perform under extreme conditions. Engineered to surpass original equipment standards for longer life. Built with the technology. Time warranty. Get the alternator built to exceed the need. Let's show how easy this new product is to make. I'm going to go get somebody out of the audience. It's the Mike's Heart Frozen Lemonade. What's your name? My name is Barbara. Barbara, yeah. come on yeah. down! Yeah. 
just pour it over ice, put the lid on, and let it rip. Oh, there it is, there it is. Yeah, I think she's got it. Johnny, tell her what she's won. Nothing? You've won nothing! Next to the beer. Ever been told that broadband is out of reach just because of where you live? Don't believe it. Say hello to high-speed internet by satellite. HughesNet, the number one choice for satellite internet service in the country. And you can get it right now. So dump your slow dial communications worldwide. How cool is that? Dot com and live the high speed life in no time. HughesNet, bringing broadband to everyone. Call now. Just for men, hair color knocks out the gray better than ever. This off here. Let's look at that was his high total for the fight. Teddy Atlas's scorecard. Close rounds. 98-92. For the official word, we send it to the ring to M. Mark Biero. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous decision. Judge Brett Miller sees it 98-92, all to the winner by unanimous decision. Jamil, big time, McClain. Well, the gap in the scoring belies the fact that it was a very highly competitive and entertaining heavyweight.